Hey there, I'm Trip Lanier. For over 12 years, I've spent thousands of hours coaching folks to get out of the rat race, become an authority in their field, and make a great living doing the work that they were put on this earth to do. And for more than a decade, I've hosted the New Man Podcast, which has been downloaded millions of times, and you can find that on iTunes or Stitcher. If you're feeling stressed out, let's talk about a quick way to create some ease while gaining a ton of power and energy. It just may not be the way you think it should be. Uh, a while back, I had a guy on the phone who was interested in working with me. He made gobs of money, but he was super stressed out and he was super miserable. And after, our, you know, through this long conversation, he basically got down and he asked me, he said, so uh, Trip, how can you help me tolerate more bullshit from all these assholes I got to deal with at work? And I told him I wasn't going to help him tolerate anything, but I did let him know that I'd be happy to help him if he wanted to sack up, set some boundaries or get a new job. Typically, when we're stressed, we respond with wanting to tolerate or avoid. And if we're still feeling like crap, we often think we just need to get better at tolerating or avoiding. But what if there's a third option? Instead of avoiding or tolerating, what if we attacked? And now, I'm not talking about attacking somebody. I'm not talking about lashing out or trying to hurt anyone. Here's what I mean. When a, when a coaching client's in a bind, he'll often tell me, I'm tired of this situation, but I don't know what I want. I don't know what to do. This isn't usually not entirely true. In that moment, I want to help him clarify what he wants underneath all of that fear and that stress. So I'm going to ask him, what outcome would you want if you knew it would be painless and you knew it wouldn't hurt anyone? Often there's a quick answer that comes up underneath the fear they have a deep knowing of what they want. Their struggle is in the how or the process of getting there. From their current perspective, they don't see a way through this that won't be painful or uncomfortable or scary, and that makes total sense. But instead of getting stuck here, what if that pain was the thing that would set us free? One of my coaches, Phil Stutz, He's the guy that's taught me this idea. Check out his interviews that I've done with him on The New Man or the two books that he's done with Barry Michaels. Essentially, Phil is challenging us to ask, what if instead of avoiding or tolerating, we learned to turn directly into this thing and then we learned to attack it? And what if by going directly into that thing, we would gain life force? We wouldn't be depleted by it. We'd actually become stronger by it. I've got a window right here in my office and in the summertime, there's all kinds of critters that are hanging out there. And sometimes I get to watch this lizard there, and he does this thing. A bug will come along, and then bam, he doesn't wait. He doesn't debate. He doesn't think about it, draw a pros and cons list. He just attacks. And why does he do that? Because that, for him, that bug is sustenance. That bug is life force. What's the big takeaway here? There's a Buddhist quote that says, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And this is what I'm pointing to. The suffering comes from avoiding and tolerating. If you're tired of tolerating something, if you're tired of avoiding something, then ask yourself, what outcome would you want if, you wouldn't, if, if it wouldn't hurt you or someone that you care about? And then attack, take action, do it quickly. Perhaps that action is simply asking for help and how to deal with somebody you care about. Perhaps it's making a bold request at work, but chances are you already know what to do. And if you don't, then quickly make that bold action to get help to figure that out. This isn't about being impulsive. It's not, being, it's not about being careless. It's about responding quickly to that deep knowing that we already have that's living underneath that stress. The relief you're seeking is on the other side of this action. Move into the fear and you'll find the ease, power, and life force. Here's to you owning what you want. And thanks so much for listening.